Good morning, everybody. Welcome back through Solomon Scott Selections here for Saturday, December 16th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in the NBA with Mather and over 14 and a half points and minus 128 on FanDuel. Mather was actually on good pace. He had 13 points with 10 minutes to go in the game. And then Carlisle benched him and he didn't play again. So the Pacers were kind of getting buried for most of that game against Washington. Mather was in a good spot. And then Carlisle decided it was time to move on for Mather and and didn't go back to him. So either way, picked up a loss there. Look for a winner here on Saturday. And for today's play of the day, going to the first day of bowl season, go get a matchup between Fresno State and New Mexico State, taking place at around 5.45 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, I'm going to take New Mexico State minus 3.5 at even money on FanDuel. Time recording of 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberland's why we're going to take the Aggies to get the job done in the spot. First reason they've been in much better form lately as the Aggies have won eight of their last nine games, while Fresno State was on pace to be in the uh, conference title game in the Mountain West, and then completely imploded as the season went on, as Fresno State lost each of the last three games, and now they're playing on the first day of bowl season in New Mexico. I have questions about motivation in this matchup, but the game itself is taking place in New Mexico, not officially the Aggies' home stadium, but there should be a pretty decent crowd advantage for this matchup, since this is one of the most successful seasons in New Mexico State program history, and Fresno State once again had bigger aspirations entering the year, and for about 75% of the season before everything imploded, and now I do question if the f actual fans will make the trip for this matchup, but to go through another factor I got to mention, which is the opt-outs, not just for the players, but also for the coaches, because Jeff Tedford, the coach of Fresno State, opted out basically because he's dealing with some health issues. So hopefully he's okay, but the point is he will not be there on the sideline. So they're going to be using an interim coach for this matchup. Now, New Mexico State is going to be having most of its roster, with the exception of one of its uh, starting receivers, as Trent Hudson, who had 10 touchdowns this season, opted out. But everyone else is basically healthy, including starting quarterback Diego Pavia, who had 32 touchdowns and eight interceptions this season. He got injured in the middle of that conference title game against Liberty, and as a result, there were some questions if he would be available for this matchup. But according to the head coach, he's available, and that's going to be a massive boost to this offense. But to go through the injury report for Fresno State, they're going to be pretty shorthanded on the front lines, both offensively and defensively, as Fresno State will be without its best offensive lineman in Jacob Spommer. And starting D-tackle, uh, Gavriel Lightfoot ended up missing basically the last two games due to injury. So I do think, once again, Fresno State might struggle on the lines on both sides of the ball. And to go through the actual area of attack for New Mexico State, it is a pretty bad matchup for Fresno because New Mexico State is really good at running the ball and Fresno has a really hard time of stopping it. So New Mexico State averages 198 rushing yards per game, which ranks 13th in the nation in the last three games of the season, though. Fresno State allowed 200 and 94.7 rushing yards per game, which was the second most in the nation. So New Mexico State definitely has a game plan, and I do think it's going to work out for them because they love throwing the ball. Pavi is very mobile, and I do think they'll be able to generate a lot of big chunk plays on the ground since Fresno's had no answers for the ground attack of other teams for the last couple of weeks. So I do think that, once again, with Fresno State using a somewhat compromised offensive and defensive line, with a coach that's not going to be there, or at least a head coach is not going to be there. And once again, this team kind of choked to finish the season out against a team playing basically at home, in its home state, that's won eight of nine games and is going to be having a starting quarterback back. I think it's a good spot here to take the Aggies to get the job done and to win this game by at least four points. Play that once again here for Saturday, December 16th. It's going to be on New Mexico State minus three and a half at even money on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.